outside. I hope I haven't missed breakfast. I don't want to keep Otto and Father Lenz wait. Damn, where am I? to join the gentleman downstairs. Good morning, Anna. I hope you slept well. Will you join us for breakfast? Of course. I'd like to hear more about Gerhard while we eat. Please, help yourself to a cup of tea, Anna. Gerhard like? Is he a local? Gerhard is from the town in the valley below. He also runs a bar there, which is how our partnership started. Indeed. His bar was a great place to sell our goods, with lots of passers-by and plenty of regulars, too. But more importantly, Gerhard could sneak across the border unnoticed. That really helped our operation. I see. Was he upset that you wanted to quit the business? Well, at first, yes. Gerhard tried to talk us out of it, but he saw the light eventually. So, who's after him now? Any clues about this mysterious group? I haven't the slightest idea. This is a quiet region, Anna. We don't get many outsiders. Otto is right. Only silly rumors going around town sometimes. What kind of rumors? Da. Nothing to do with Gerhard, just chitter-chatter about small groups of uniformed people passing in the night. The townsfolk say they have never seen uniforms like that. They have no idea who the people were. Where were they heading? Nobody dared follow them, but rumors point towards Germany. And rumors about their identity is what troubles me most. Oh, who were they? 
a Nazi paramilitary organization known as the Brown Shirts. Oh, no, I hope they have nothing to do with Gerhardt's disappearance. Let's stick to the facts, gentlemen. Let's find Gerhardt's journal and see what it says. Agreed. Father, could you search the cellar? Anna and I will investigate the cabin. So, do you think Gerhard hid his journal in the cabin? It's possible, but I boarded up the door after the murders. Ah, then we'll need a pry bar to pull the nails. Yes, I think I used one to patch up Giovanni's room upstairs. Room number eight? Let's go there first. My tools are here, so we should find the pry bar too. Excellent. Uh, we can use this to open the cabin door. the planks off that door. Let's look around. This cabin was where Gerhard planned our smuggling routes. Thank you. 
I haven't found anything interesting. Have you had any luck? Any sign of Gerhardt's journal? Unfortunately, no. Just this ornate mate cup. Come again, Anna? Yerba mate is a traditional tea from South America. This cup wasn't bought locally. How peculiar. I've never had any guests from South America, and I certainly wouldn't serve tea up here. It's not hospitable, for goodness sake. That's odd. But I don't see how it links to Gerhard. Perhaps Father Lenz has already found the journal in the cellar. I hope so. Let's talk with him and find out. Cellar is right here, Anna. Please, watch your step. Strange. The doors are shut. Father? Are you in there? Somebody's left a message on the door. Right. I found a message. Could you show me that note, please? Consider this your final warning. Heavens. Who wrote this? Where's Father Lenz? Somebody's on to us, Otto. We should go back to the hotel and keep our eyes peeled. Yes, yes. I hope Father Lenz is still in the hall. There's a spare cellar key there, too. There's no sign of Father Lenz. I should look for a spare key in the cupboard. Let's go to the cellar. I fear something terrible has happened. <laughs> 